Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Brenda with Wreath by Busy Bees Custom Creations. I'm excited. We're going to be making a wreath for my sister Pat. <clears throat> so we are good to go, I think. Hopefully that's working. Okay. Hello everyone. How's it going? Hey Sandy, how are you? My sister Pat is on here. So we're going to be making this um, little angel wreath. I don't know. Hey Sandy. Hey Donna. Hey Colleen. Hey Nicole. Um, my sister picked this out. Hey Marcy. Um, when I was down at Ed London. So um, we decided to make this tonight. So she's on here, and her name's Pat Callow. So she, you know, I, we FaceTimed today and went over a couple things. Hey, Jackie, um, what she wanted on her wreath. So that's what we're doing. Hey, Muriel. Hey, Luann. How are you? I don't know why this is not on there. Okay. All right. Hey, Rosie. All right. So we're going to do the ruffle method, and I am using this mesh. It's a burlap with the cream in it. Hey Deb, how's it going? And what I normally do, so the ones that you cut towards the end of the roll are going to be really tight curls. So you want to use those on the bottom row. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I like to fold that under so that, um, you know, you don't get that, um, you know, the rough edges. Hey Peggy, how's it going? Hey Lynn. Yeah, so today the you know they said, oh, we're only gonna get, you know, a little light dusting of snow, right? No, we got like six inches of snow, you guys. It was crazy. Crazy. So my husband hurt his elbow. So he can't really do the snow blowing. So he was out there trying to shovel, and I'm like, you can't do that. Hey Kathy, how are you? I'm like, let me get out there and help him. So, um, I don't know why that's not working. So I was like, okay, let me um, get out there and help him. So there we go. There's the comments. I don't know why I can't see the comments on there for some reason. I don't know. So, man, that was a job. That was a job. That snowblower is heavy. And so it was crazy. So... So again, I'm just taking the ones that I cut, you know, like on the very last. Oh my gosh, Luann. It snowed and snowed and snowed and snowed and snowed and snowed and snowed. And it was coming down. Like I could not believe. We just couldn't believe it. Either my husband and I. And I'm like, really? Come on. Hey, Missy, how are you? It's my sister-in-law, Missy. Hey, Sandy, how's it going? Don't forget to share this video with your friends if you could. And if you don't already subscribe to my alert, hit live and then answer the questions and you will get alerts when I go live. So, like I said, I cut these 30 inches. So when you cut them 30 inches, you only get 12 pieces per roll. So you need a roll and a half when you do the 30 inch ruffles. Now if you do 20 inch ruffles, oh no, Mary, I hope your daughter didn't get an accent. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, it was really bad today, so. Yeah, oh I know, right, Nicole? It was supposed to start out as like, you know, snow and then turn to sleet and happy, hey, Steven, and then turn to rain. So, oh my goodness, it took you an hour? Wow, Sandy. Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. So, we didn't go anywhere, but I was like, oh my goodness. It was a mess. So, Stephen, how's it going? Let me see. I don't know why. This is not working right. Um, but, let me see. Here we go. I'm trying to um, do it differently. It di so, Stephen, how's it going? There we go. So, Stephen, do you go back to the doctor's on um, Monday, right, for your 
for your neck to schedule the surgery or is it already scheduled? You have about seven inches. I think, um, I think we got like around five to six inches. It was pretty deep out there. And you know, when then, you know, then it turns to sleet. Well, then you're out there and you're getting soaked from the sleet. And then my glasses kept getting rain and sleet all over them. It was a mess. It was a mess. I said to my husband, I said, man, we better, we get better find someone to do this snow this winter because I can't keep doing it. I said, my back's going to be killing me tomorrow and I have to sit up for this craft show tomorrow. Yeah, it, it's, it was coming down, boy. And then it turned to sleep. Okay. Yeah, let us know, Stephen, how it goes. So, like I said, let's read this for my sister. She lives in North Carolina. And she picked out this, um, this angel when I was down at Ed London. So, um, I have to make it for her. So, don't forget... Like I said, if you don't get a live alerts and you want alerts, please type in live. Also, if you're interested in my group, um, it's $14.99 a month. And just type in group and that will take you to the PayPal. I am located in um, near King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Hey, Janet, which is about an hour outside of um, Philadelphia. This mesh, oh, more snow in the morning. Oh, I hope not. I have to sit up with that craft show tomorrow. Better not more snow. Um, this mesh I got from Joann's. I know, isn't it pretty? I really like it with the with the cream in it. The mesh is 10, 10 inches wide, and I cut it to 30 inches. And like I said, when you cut it to 30 inches, you'll only get 12 pieces out of one roll. And then you have to cut six pieces out of another roll. So three rolls will do two wreaths. Hey, Trudy, how are you? Oh, I know. It was miserable, wasn't it, Deborah? It was. Oh, Bernadette. Bernadette, Bernadette, Bernadette. You just had to say that, didn't you? You guys see her? She's teasing us. 75 in Florida. Thanks, Stephen. 75 in Florida. You know that once is, you know, hey, Kathy, you know that once, you know, to make us want to smack you. <laughs> we're, in fact, my husband's like, you know what? I think it's time to move. <laughs> it's time to move. At least to a place like a townhouse or something that, um, you know, we don't have to worry about the upkeep because. You know, he had the knee surgery in the summer, and then he has, you know, these elbow issues going on, so it's just a mess. And I have neck issues, so I have to be careful, but I know, Bernadette, thank you for sharing that it was 75 in Florida today. <laughs> you got it at Michael's? Yeah, there was a ton of accidents. My, um daughter was saying that my nephew who literally lives like five minutes away from his elementary school I think she said it took him an hour to get home I mean literally like he's not even a couple miles away and it's still 79 yeah I want to smack you too Rosie yeah thanks for sharing that hey Sandy from California how are you no it's definitely not 75 here <laughs> It was cold. It was 32 degrees when I woke up. So I did get the dog in for a walk. Up 75. Oh, Cheryl. So you guys are just making me not like you. <laughs> yes, Mary, it's the 14 inch, <clears throat> excuse me, the 14 inch Dollar Tree frame. Don't forget to share this video if you would. Mary's in my group. Hey, Sandra, how are you? We're having a fun time. So, a good time. <clears throat> I know, right? I wouldn't miss the snow either. I mean, yeah, it's pretty to look at, but when you have to get out there and shovel it, and that's how I ended up with a neck issue because a couple years ago, I was out there helping my um, husband shovel, and I 
messed up my neck on a bulging disc and herniated disc and and it took me six months to recover from that. Yeah, I know you could, right? Brucey, it's bad out there. Hey, Kim, how are you? Yeah, I'm glad to see you, Sandra. Like I said, don't forget to share this video with your friends. Yep, it will. Mm -hmm. That's why I like the um 14 the the frames that i use because it will fit better in between um the storm doors yes it will the ruffles are um 30 inches on hey judy how are you so it's 10 inch mesh cut to 30 inches this mesh i actually got at joann's but i'm pretty sure like craft outlet sells it also Hey, Jonathan, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, I love this mesh. Like I said, I think I got it last year at um, Joann's, but I'm pretty sure Craft Outlet sells it also. I'm doing well, thank you. We'll see tomorrow how I feel since I did that snow, <laughs> snow blowing today. <laughs> see if my back's killing me or not, but what are you going to do? All right, so we have two more to go on the top or on the bottom, and then we will um, do the top row. So when you do your ruffles, like I said, I fold a little bit under so you don't get that rough edge. And then what's nice about this mesh is you kind of have a set middle here. Because you want to try and keep, excuse me, that burlap's itching my nose. Um, I keep a kind of straight ruffle if you can. And then you just want to make sure that that is kind of folded over here on the end too. Hey, Terry. Oh no, Jerry Lynn, I wonder why that happened. Thank you for sharing, Judy, I appreciate it. I know, right, Jonathan? It's great. I really like um, Craft Outlet. And you know, it's a pretty low minimum to get free shipping. Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, I really like this mesh too. All right. So again, I just fold that under just a little bit, like maybe an inch or so. You don't really have to measure and then um, do the ruffles. No problem. So yeah, we were, like I said, my sister was on today and we were um, going over different ribbons and that kind of stuff that she wanted. So I told her she needed to be on here. So if there was something she wanted me to do differently, I could do it for her. You're still on here, right, Pat? I know, isn't it pretty, Paula? It really is. I like this mesh. Um, the ruffles are 10 inches wide and they're cut to 30 inches. All right, so that's just the bottom done. Hey, Beth Connolly, how are you? So that's done. Now we're going to do the top. Okay. Hey, Kathy. How many? Oh, yeah, there she is. There's my sister, Pat. <laughs> so. Kathy, that was crazy. 18 ruffles, Donna. We're using 18 ruffles. Hey, Linda from Oklahoma. Kathy, I felt so bad. I can't believe I sent Kathy a um, wreath on I don't know, Saturday or something and um, she messaged me and she was like I had to pay money to get my wreath and I'm like what and here she had moved and they charged her to forward the box to her I, it was crazy I was like because I've never had a problem with um, you know people having to pay when they get the package Archbold PA where is that um, and I'm not sure I know where that is I don't think I've heard of that. No problem. Whoops. Like I said, if you're interested in the group, type group in the comments. We're having a lot of fun in there. Right, exactly. Right, Kathy? Or they should have called you 
and had you pick it up there. Uh, that was insane. I just could not believe that. Um, my wreath boxes to ship, I get off of Amazon. Because most of the time it's free shipping. And a lot of other sites... Oh, okay, it's near Scranton. Oh, so you're probably near Stephen. Um, a lot of other boxes, you see the prices are maybe a little cheaper. But by the time you pay shipping, they're ridiculous amounts of money. So I buy most of them. Um, hey, Verleen, how are you? From Amazon. That's crazy. It was. I felt so bad, Kathy. I was like, that's unbelievable. They should not have charged you for that. So like I said, I'm doing, um, this is 10 inch mesh that I cut to 30 inches. Thank you for sharing, Linda. Really appreciate it. Sharing is caring. Hey, Sharon. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, thanks, Jerry Lynn. Yeah, that's a total of 18. Yep, 18 ripples. Hey, Ruth, how are you? Like I said, if this is your first time and you want to receive alerts when I go live, just type in alert or alive and you will get um, a message from my bot and then just answer the questions and then you will be subscribed. And if you want information on my group, it's $14.99 a month. And I do a live every Tuesday. And then um, we'll have a Zoom call at least once or twice a month and a tutorial. Hey, Kathy, I am making a rustic angel wreath for my sister. Hey, Ruth, how's it going? more here and then we're done with the base uh, okay yep just type in live yeah it is a lot of fun <laughs> we've had I've taught them some new words <laughs> which Mary if you're on here <laughs> um, but yeah, we've had we've had a lot of fun. Yeah, they get one tutorial a month, and we're doing every Tuesday is um, live night, and then I usually will pop on more than that. But it's been a little crazy lately with the craft shows and stuff like that, so I'm not able to do as much as I want to. But yeah, it's a lot of fun, and you know, it's it's less than fifty cents a day when you um, price it out. To learn how to make wreaths and everything, I mean, that's that's cheap. So, we have a good time. And I have discounts for them. Oh, you've never seen me before, Ruth? Well, welcome. We, oops, did I cut one too many or I missed one? There's one. Um, I have been on here for a, a while now, Ruth. But I'm glad you found me. Oh, thanks, Rosie. Rosie, I'm so glad you're finally getting the um, alerts. The mesh holder is, thank you, Anne. I appreciate it. The mesh holder I got from Susie's recent things. In fact, let me give you her affiliate link for that. Um, because what I wanted to tell you guys, um, she is saying that um, the this is the ultimate mesh holder, the ultimate, oh, well, welcome, Bernadette. I'm glad you're here. This is the ultimate one. It collapses, which is nice because you can, um, you know, make it flat. So you can take it with you, that kind of stuff. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Donna. Um, so this is going to go up by like $10 a um, for one of these. So it is, it is hard to figure out who to watch. Yeah. But I think you kind of just have to find someone that you kind of connect with. So because there is a ton of people out there doing lives. All right, so that is our base. So we did the 30-inch ruffles all the way around. Yes, welcome newbies. 
Okay, so um, I'm going to figure out where we want this little angel. But what I want to do first, yes, Julie Samaka, yep, she's wonderful. Okay, so I have this ribbon, and she's got a little red in her skirt. So I thought we would use this. Now, Pat, I know we talked about other ones, but I kind of just like these two. So tell me what you think, Pat. Oh, thanks, Mary. Oh, he did? That's awesome, Judy. Yeah, but these are going to go up um, after the holiday. So if you want one, make sure you get one before Christmas. Hey, Cheryl, how's it going? Um, the angel came from a local um, wholesale place here. All right, so we're going to go ahead, whoops, go ahead and put, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> um, we're going to put, this is um, the two and a half inch of the moss, and then the one and a half inch, isn't that pretty? Thank you for sharing, and then just fold it in half, and then you just um, do that. Hey, Susie, we were just talking about your mesh holder. Susie, hey, Kelly. Yes, from Ed London Wreath, Kathy. Yep. Yep. Susie invented and makes the mesh rollers. Yeah, I am. Um, hey, Deborah from North Carolina. We were looking at a bunch of other ribbons, and honestly, we just, I kind of, I like these two. The fluff box, it's really easy. All you do is I took a box that I found at Michael's. Hey, Denise from Delaware. And it was a 12 by 12 box that was about, I don't know, a couple um, couple inches deep. Hey, Pramila, I hope I said that right, from India. Welcome. Glad you're here. Yeah, the yeah, I know. I need to go down there again. I have to pick some stuff up. But I just haven't had time yet, so I'm hoping... The ribbons are um, 12 inches. So what time is it in India? So glad you're here. But I took that box and then I found kind of a lid for it at another place. And um, I know, aren't they pretty, Anne? Um, at a... I think I found it at AC Moore, and I just put them together. And you want to make the box heavy so that it doesn't move around. So um, I put old kitchen tiles in, and I like wrapped them in a cloth so that you know obviously they wouldn't like bang around the box. Um, but I put that in there, and you know because you want it heavy, and then you just put one of those eye hooks on it and a little, a little, um, nail. Oh, this is going to look so cute. Look at this, guys. Isn't that cute? Love it, love it, love it, love it. The pink ribbon? Which pink ribbon? Oh, thanks. I know, ribbon, 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 right? I know. Hello, Joanne. Welcome. Where do you live at in Pennsylvania? I'm in Pennsylvania also. I'm about an hour outside of Philadelphia. Don't forget, if you guys are new here and want alerts when I go live, just type in live, and you'll get a message from my bot that you have to answer questions. Yep, that's yep, mm -hmm. but it's like 12 by 12. And, you know, it's about three inches. It's not real deep. Yeah, maybe two. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Dee Dee from Texas. How are you? And if you want information about the group, type in group and you will get an alert about the group. <laughs> I know. Yep, you can use. Yep, absolutely. Dawn says she uses an old butcher block cutting board. Yep, anything that's heavy that it's going to, um, you know, hold it down. Sandra, 
about 30 miles east of Pittsburgh. Okay. Yes, uh, Kathy, we got about six inches of snow. Yeah, not, ugh. All right, so there's the top layer, just the top layer done, and now we're going to do the bottom. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to Pittsburgh next week for Thanksgiving. We're going to go visit um, my mother-in-law. She's in a nursing home up there, and then we're going to go to um, my sister-in-law's for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, but make sure you answer the questions if you type in live, because otherwise you won't be subscribed to it. 12 inches already, Kathy? Holy Toledo. Yeah, we got, excuse me, that burlap's making my nose itch. We got about six, I think. It was enough. And it was, you know, it's real heavy, wet snow. So um, it was crazy. The price of um, the mesh holder, it's going, I believe she said it's going up after the holidays. So probably the 1st of January. So yeah, if you want the mesh holder, get it now. Oh my goodness. 12. Whew. I'm glad it's not here, but yeah, it was a real heavy, thick snow. So, um, it was, it was terrible. I'm using about 13 inch ribbon tails. Hey Jane. Oh, hail and ice. Yeah, that's even worse. That's definitely even worse. I hate when you have the ice. I don't know if Susie's still on or not. I love these colors. Love, love, love these colors. She might have popped off because she tries to, you know, pop on everyone's lives that are um, in our group. So, <clears throat> and that's one thing if you're in the group too, you, um, there's a couple people that are given discounts and that kind of thing so hey Myra welcome don't forget if you guys could share this video with your friends I would appreciate it Yeah, I love this green and this red. I hope you're liking it, Pat. Are you still on here? One more. The ribbons were cut to 13 inches, Constance. Yep. Thank you for sharing, Brenda. I appreciate it. Yeah, I have the original one also, but honestly, once I saw this one, I was like, hmm. It is so nice because it'll hold your mesh and your ribbons and everything. Because I use it to cut my mesh. I use it to cut my ribbons. I love it. I always say there's two um, tools that I cannot live without. And one of them is my mesh holder. Oh, awesome, Colleen. That's great. Okay. So we have that. All right. So... That's her on there. Now, I also have these little, like, kind of um, burlap and jute balls. Hey, Rachel, how are you? So, what I was thinking was to put, um, like, a red one, green one, red one, green one on each of the, whoops, on each of the things, so. Let me cut 
cut these down here. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Hey, Faye. I know, isn't it cute? I think it's going to be adorable. Yeah, the ribbons were cut to, um, oh, thank you. The ribbons were cut to 13 inches. And I'm just going around and I am um, just making the, sure the ties are good. And then I'm just going to cut them off because I'm going to put one of those balls in each of the ties. I was telling my sister, I said, yeah, I've had these little ornaments for probably a year and I've just been waiting for the perfect wreath to put them on and when we were picking out the colors today I was like oh I have the perfect thing for this you know sometimes you just you get stuff and you kind of hold on to it for that right thing at least I don't know I do I know I am a busy bee, but whew. have that craft show tomorrow. So now instead of setting up tonight, um, no, this mesh came from Joann's. But Deco Exchange might have it. I don't know. I know, right? I got these at, um, I think of local place around here one of those um not the gift show I forget what it was like a, a wholesale show they have and um I got them and I was like because I really like them and I'm like I know I will find something to use them on I know right Debbie oh sure There we go. That better? So it takes a minute to kind of catch up when I zoom. Okay, there we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take one of the balls and I'm going to go on the end. And I'm just going to put like a little hole in it. And then I'm going to take the glue, kind of fill that hole with the glue. And then I'm going to put it right here on that zip tie. Okay, it looks like that. And then I'm going to do, so I'm going to like do a green one, a red one, a green one, a red one. I know, I love these colors. Let's go to the next one. Just put it right there. Hello from Nova Scotia. Welcome. Now, isn't it pretty? See that? Red and the green, I think that really just makes it. Don't forget, if you're new here and don't already get my alerts, type in live. And you will get an alert each time I go live. And then if you want information about my group, type in group. And you'll get that information. I don't know, Pat, if I take it, I might sell it. <laughs> we got about six inches of snow, Kathy. I know, it's a mess here. It really is. Well, thanks, Judy. And I'm just putting it right over that um, pipe cleaner. 
<clears throat> take orders. Yeah, I can take orders. You know, I don't know if I can get this angel again. Because I don't think they had that many left. But like I said, I do have to go down there. Um, because I ordered some ribbons. And I just have to stop down and see. Ugh, rain? More rain? You guys got more rain? Um, these I got at a local. It was, um, one of those wholesale shows. It was, like, last January. And actually, they're having it again. Um, I need a green one. There's another one in January. So, I forget where I got them. I don't even remember the place, you know, the name of the place. Oh, sure. I'm just taking them, I'm poking a little hole in them, and then I am putting them right on the pipe cleaner and kind of pushing them down into the pipe cleaner with the glue, and the glue will hold them right in place. Okay. This is the angel again. If you guys can see her. I know, doesn't it? That's why I said I knew I had these. And I've been waiting to put them on the perfect wreath. And this is the perfect wreath. All right. So now I'm going to go to the bottom row. And start on the bottom. Start the red one. Oh, thanks, Linda. I know I had a totally different idea of what I was going to make tonight. And then after she um, called me, I was like, nope, I have to make this tonight. I know, right? It's perfect. Like I said, sometimes you just, you hold something for just, whoops, just, whoops, I lost that one. Just the right, um, just the right wreath. And this is it. Yes, and Pat helped. <laughs> So again, I'm just taking and poking a little hole in them, and then I cut those pipe cleaners down, so I'm just pushing it down into that pipe cleaner and putting it in. Yeah, I know, it fell over the side. <laughs> I'll get it. So I'm just taking my... Um, um, emails for what? Bar Donna, I sent an email today with, uh, was it today or yesterday? It might have been yesterday, with a um, the tutorial for the month. But um, other than that, you can sign up. In our group, we have um, an app called Band. And if you go on Band and sign up, you'll get the alerts there. But if you're not getting stuff, um, Donna, let me know. Just send me a message and I will um, make sure you're getting everything. Because maybe the email is wrong or something on there. Did you get that email? I can't remember. Was it last night or today? Okay, so I just use that ice pick and then I just fill that hole with the glue. And then I'm just taking it and putting it right on that pipe cleaner. And that will help hold your ribbons in place there, too. I know, I love it. I love, love, love these colors. So again, I'm just taking my ice pick and I'm putting a hole in the middle. And you, don't, you want to make sure you don't go all the way through. And then I'm just taking the glue and filling that up. And then I cut the pipe cleaners down. So I'm just going to put it right in the pipe cleaner and push it down. Yeah, check your email because hopefully I didn't, um, you know, I got your email, right? I try to copy it right from what you guys give me 
so I don't type something in wrong. But with a group, they don't let you send out alerts. And um, you can't schedule posts. So that's why I'm hoping with this band app that that'll help. I'm going to go in. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's what it looks like. I love these colors. I did 12 of the ribbon sets. So there's 12 um, for each ribbon. Okay. Now. Let's put these to the side. Now we got to figure out this angel. So, okay, so we can either put her right in the middle. Pat, where are you? You know, let me know how you like her. Kind of put her right in the middle like she's sitting on that wreath. Kind of, I don't know, I think. I don't know, maybe I should glue her hands there. You'll have to let me know. Kind of like that. So it looks like she's sitting. Let me zoom out so you can see it. So it kind of looks like she's sitting in the middle of the wreath. So I can either put it there or on, whoops, her hair's getting caught up, or on the side. But I kind of like her in the middle. I know, I think so too. So Pat, what do you think? Do you like her in the middle? I know I like her there too. But I'm waiting for my sister. <laughs> do what she likes. Yeah, I like it in the middle too. All right, Pat, if I don't hear from you, I'm, she's going in the middle. I think so too. All right, so you like in the middle too? All right, so what I'm gonna do now, boots keep getting caught. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a little surgery on her here. And I'm going to take a little knife here. I'm gonna put a hole in her little outfit on the back. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to, I know, I think she, yeah, she needs her hands glued together. So I'm gonna put that there. And I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue there. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah, I like the middle too. Yep. And then let me see. So if I put her there like that, right about there. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing right here through her bottom. Doing a little surgery here. Maybe, maybe she can hold one of those ornaments. Well, look, see what you think when I get her on. See if you see what you think, Pat. Okay, so ah, glue my finger. What is the smaller holes on the mesh holder for? Oh, here. This is so you can put your rods in here when you're done with them. Hey, Lucille, how are you? Okay, so. I think what I'm going to do is, okay, what do you think, Pat, like that? The ribbons, these, the, um, this ribbon came from Line Ribbon, which I sell in my shop, 
And then um, this ribbon came from Craft Outlet, I believe. No, this one came from Tommy's Wholesale. Yes, when you break it down. Yep, I know, right? Let me see. Okay, now she can even. I don't think I have a star, but maybe hold one of those. You have to tell me if you like that, Pat. That's cute. All right, so let's tie this puppy in. Oh, bye, Joanne. Thanks for coming in. I know, right? I'm traveling to Pittsburgh next week for Thanksgiving. All right, so I'm just feeding it through the mesh. And... Tie it on. A wooden star. I don't know if I have a wooden star. Hmm. I don't think I have a wooden star. But I'll have to look. I don't think I have a wooden star. Hey, Maxine, how are you? Okay, so I've got that part on, and then you can even, like, she's bendable, so. Get this on here. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's turning out really cute. A kitty cat. <laughs> yeah, that would be cute. I'll have to see what I can find. I know I don't have a kitty cat. I know I don't have a wooden star, but I'll have to look around to see what I can find. Oh, hey, Patricia. Welcome. New Mexico. I'm sure you're not getting snow there. <laughs> I know, isn't it cute? I know they didn't have many of them when I was there, so um, I'm not sure. Hey, Jane, how are you? Thank you for sharing. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Yeah, I'll have to look and see. I know I don't have any wooden stars, wooden snowflakes. Yeah. Hey, Charlene, how are you? Yeah, I, I know. I have to find something that she can hold, but I know I don't have a star. Um, I have to look around. Definitely have to find something for her to hold. I'm loving it, Pat. I hope you do, too. What do you do with the tied after you add the ribbon? Um, the ties, this time I cut them off because I was adding those little um, ornaments. But normally, it I know that's what I said too, Kathy, but she um, said something about something else. So I'll have to see. I know, I think the red ornament would look cute, but you'll have to let me know, Pat. If you want me to try to find something else. Or if you want her holding a red one. I think a little red ornament would be cute, but like that. Her holding the red ornament. A grapevine halo. Oh yeah, that would be cute too. A book would be nice. A bird. I know, Pat. I don't know. We'll have to see what we can find. Oh, hey, Karen. Welcome. A star. All right. I'll have to look around and see if I can find one. I know I don't have a star. She wants a star. So I will have to see if I can find a star for you, Pat. Um, normally what um, I do with the ties is I will take a wooden dowel and I will just curl them and um, 
Yes, yeah, see what you have, Pat, because if you have something, I can just send it to you. So what I normally do is I'll take the ties and I'll just wrap them around a dowel and just kind of curl them and it adds another layer of decoration on the wreath. I put my ribbons, um, hello Jessica, I put my ribbons on every one in the top. Thanks Kathy, good luck moving in. Are you all moved in? I can't remember if you said you were moved in or, I think you, I think you are. Um, but yeah, that's what I normally do with them. Oh, Pat, I love her. I love, love, love her. All right. Yeah. Let me know, Pat, because I won't send it out until you tell me and I'll look for something in the meantime, because it can't be too big, you know? Oh, no problem. Next week. Okay. Woohoo, I know you're looking forward to that. Okay, so I think that's it. So we'll just have to figure out what um, she's going to hold. But I think she turned out adorable. I love her. I love her, Pat. I hope you guys do too. She's so cute. So that's it for me. And I have, like I said, I have a craft show tomorrow night and Saturday. So I will be there and that's it. So if you guys are in the area, let me know. Um, it's in Norristown. It's at um, Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Norristown. Thanks, guys. Don't forget, if you want a live alert, check live. Oh, good. Okay. So I'll just send her the way she is, Pat, and then uh, you'll add the little ornament. So she says she has the perfect thing. I know, isn't it pretty, Cheryl? I really like it. I love the color combination. It did. I have to wait till it dries. Oh, thank you, Marcia. Um, but I did kind of spray a little sealant on it to see if that would help, um, you know, not have it not flake. Oh, thanks, Kathy. But yeah, so I'm excited. This is so cute. And like I said, if you want information on the group, type in group and that will... Um, take you to the PayPal and we'll get all set up. Thanks guys. Okay. I'll look around for a star. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And I will see you guys later. I'm sure I'll do a live when I'm set up over there and get the show going, but, um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe out there. If you guys are in this snow and ice and all that fun stuff. So, ooh, yeah, stay safe. All right, guys, I will talk to you later.